Throughout these next videos, you're gonna hear us talk a lot about the performance pie. Now, what we mean by the performance pie is kind of a little bit of a, of a replacement and building upon what we used to call the four-step order of correction. Now, what we like about the performance pie is, again, we get this circular approach and start to think about how every aspect of the way a golfer might utilize the ground becomes a little bit interacted with each other. Instead of maybe always taking it in this exact same sequential order, there might be times that there's a piece of that pie that's really glaring, a player that's really struggling with a piece of the ground reaction force, and you may want to attack that first before you might even go into something that started with the order of correction. Now, we still feel like there's some things we want to look at first, and also some things that might get cleaned up by other things, but that kind of gives us a little bit of an idea of the performance pie. Now, Tyler, you want to go over some of those aspects of the performance pie for golfers? Absolutely, yeah. We have four main pieces of the performance pie, and this pie really applies to all the forces that we're going to look at. So lateral force, horizontal plane rotational force, and vertical force. The first piece of that pie is, it's kind of a two-part, sequence and timing. The kinetic sequence is just referring to the order of our three forces and when they peak. The timing refers to specifically when each one of those will actually peak. The second piece of the performance pie is our point of application or where the forces are coming from. We wanna see all of our forces coming from specific spot in our lead and trail foot, which we'll be able to analyze with our pressure traces and distribution in the Smart to Move app. The third piece of the performance pie is the magnitude. This is simply how much of the force is occurring, and we have some threshold values we can use as good starting points mm -hmm. for each one of those forces. The final piece, which is a little bit more complex, is the shape of the curve. This is where we get into what those graphs look like throughout the swing, and how each of the feet work together to create that curve. Tyler, do you want to add anything to that performance pie? Yeah, the thing that I like to think about, and this is something I look at a lot when I analyze biomechanical data, especially as we're looking at waveforms or graphs, is that we can look at things that we call discrete points. These are points in space where we look at one specific point. And we have those in the performance pie, right? What is the magnitude? How big is it? When does that magnitude peak? How does it peak relative to the others? And that's a real powerful way to look at ground reaction force. The other way we can analyze ground reaction force is through a continuous analysis. This is where we look at the curve in its entirety. Mm -hmm. We look at the whole motion of the golf swing, and we start to look at things like the shape of the curve, how much force they're applying over a period of time, something we call impulse, the rates of the force development, how quickly or slowly they build up those forces. And that continuous analysis of the curve gives us even more information and I think gives us the entirety of how we want to look at the golfer generating force in the swing. This is why the performance pie is so important to us. It's that it gives us all these aspects to analyze the ground reaction force. We'll start to see how these pieces interact with each other. And this gives us a great starting point as you're looking at analyzing your golfers, their ground reaction force and their associated motions. So we call this the performance pie because the idea is that if we can get all the pieces of this pie kind of in their proper order and in the right structure, it's really going to help improve the, the golfer's performance. Yeah, I think that's a great description, Tyler, as we think about it really being related to the performance of the golfer. That's why it's called the performance pie. Now, I love the performance pie because it can help us analyze ground reaction force in two ways. And this is how I look at ground reaction force every day, whether I'm looking at a golfer, a basketball player, or even just an older adult trying to get out of a chair. And that is both a discrete analysis and a continuous analysis. Now, a discrete analysis is just where we go to one point in that curve. We want to look at how much force can someone produce vertically or up and down? We want to look at when does a specific force peak in a movement? Those would be discrete analyses. The other thing that we can actually look at is how that waveform or how that ground reaction force graph changes over time, how they build force, how they drop force, how the, the interplay between the lateral forces and the anterior posterior forces and the rotational forces. Right, the interplay of those together, we can look at things like impulse or how much force they're applying over a period of time and what's the quantity of motion that we can get from that. And we get that when we start to look at the waveform analysis and the curve analysis that comes from our performance pie. And once we can put all of those pieces together, then we can really start to help a golfer improve their performance. And what we mean by that is help a golfer be a little bit more efficient with their golf swing. And that might mean a little bit more repeatable. That might mean helping a golfer find a few extra miles per hour of swing speed that will be a big deal for them for success on the course. 
It might be that performance for them might be some injury prevention, right? We might see something in this analysis of the pie that tells us, man, if they keep doing it this way, some injuries might creep up. Mm. And we can improve that and help that golfer have better performance because their injury rates are down. Right? This is why I love the performance pie, right? It's assessing everything together, seeing how they interact as a whole, and then helping a golfer achieve their very best performance.